Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Evan from the Swing Trade Pros team here. In this short video, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize candlestick patterns to trade profitably. If you guys are having trouble identifying long opportunities, short opportunities, this video is definitely going to help you guys out. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel if you guys like this content, and let's get to it. Alright, so the first candlestick pattern here that we're going to identify is the hanging man. Typically, these form at the tops or bottoms of patterns, okay? We're going to get to that here in just one second on the chart. But just before we get to the charts, I'm going to just go through all the different candlestick patterns that we're going to be covering in this video. So first is the hanging man. The second is how we identify the hanging man, right? So the hanging man towards the top of the pattern here, if you guys can see that, led straight to a move to the downside, right? Uptrend, gap up, lower shadow, at least twice as big as a real candle. But you guys can take a look at this picture, obviously. Uh, it, it explains exactly how the hanging man is identified, okay? In this next candlestick pattern is a shooting star. This is also a reversal pattern. Right? So as you guys can see, this is a, a bearish reversal pattern, right? So we got the shooting star to the downside here, and what do we get? We got price action that moved to the downside. If you guys like this content, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and tick that little bell. Let's get to it. Alright, so our next candlestick pattern here is dark cloud cover, which is kind of something similar to what we got actually in the S&P the other day. I'm going to show you that uh, on a chart here very shortly, guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned throughout this whole video. And here's your dark cloud cover and what it looks like, right? So it's kind of a bearish engulfing candle, but it's it's called dark cloud cover because it's, it's the top of the candle body actually uh, is above, if you look closely, is actually above that green candle and creating that cloud over top of it, right? This next pattern is just called a Harami pattern. Now these are just, we, we see these like almost daily on the patterns here. This is, these are pretty standard candles that we will see, okay? And this is how you can identify them. Um, you know, bearish Harami, <clears throat> bearish Harami and bullish Haramis. Um, sometimes you get reversals out of these uh, to the up or down side. So that's something definitely to pay attention to, okay? There's the piercing pattern. Now, Typically, these also uh, happen when breaking supports or breaking resistances, right? So here's going to be a clear example of where uh, we got this piercing pattern and it reversed to the upside, right? Inverted hammer. These are my favorite candlestick patterns to identify and to trade. They are very powerful reversal patterns. Um, as you guys can see here, we had a, a inverted hammer here shown in this display here. This is, a, I guess, a picture of the S&P 500. And uh, as you guys can see, this, this later led to a, a higher low. And also, this is a hammer candle here to the right that led to this move to the upside. And then our bullish engulfing pattern, right? Right. This big candle bar engulf or was bigger than this previous candle here, which is what the word engulfing means, okay? And then our regular hammer, okay, we, we'll, I'm definitely going to show some of these on the charts here in just one second. All right, so that's the end of the slideshow here, and we're going to get to the charts. All right, guys, so let's get into the charts here. Our first candlestick pattern that we want to identify here is the hanging man. I have it kind of drawn out for you guys here. Um, you can clearly see that this hanging man indicated a reversal to the downside, right? So that's what the hanging man looks like. Uh, you guys can obviously scroll back to this video to see um, what the, the hanging man bearish candle looks like. And here's the hanging man bullish candle that actually also ushered in a move downside. But this also, um, so that's the hanging man. The next, what we want to look at, next uh, candlestick pattern is the shooting star. Okay, it looks similar to the hanging man, but 
you're look, looking at a bigger wick, right? So the wick down here also ushered in a move to the downside. And the shooting star also uh, could also be a bullish looking uh, candle. It doesn't have to be a red candle, okay? That's the shooting star. And then the dark cloud cover. Now this is what I wanted to show you guys about the S&P. See how this candle on the weekly um, is technically a higher candle body here than the previous week. So that would be its cloud, dark cloud cover, right? Hey guys, make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys haven't done so already. Smash the subscribe button and hit that little bell. And let's get into the rest of these candlestick patterns. Okay, so our next pattern here is the bearish harami and the bullish harami. So typically after a bearish harami candle comes, we will see a bullish uh, reversal, okay? So bearish harami, bullish reversal, bullish harami, bearish reversal, right? I know it sounds like maybe it should be called a bearish harami at the top here and a bullish harami at the bottom here. No, it's actually flipped the opposite direction, okay? The next candlestick reversal pattern here we're going to cover is the inverted hammer, okay? So as you guys can see here, it looks kind of similar to a shooting star, but it's not quite a shooting star. It's actually, it looks like an upside down hammer, right? So the upside down hammer ushers in a move to the downside, just like the, um, it, could also, it could also be a bullish candle that ushers a move into the downside, okay? So don't get those two confused. They could be bullish looking, or they could be green candles or red candles. They will both usher in moves to the downside, okay? That's the inverted hammer. Now, the opposite pattern is called the hammer pattern, right? If you flip those around, you will get what's called a hammer pattern. Now, this is the daily chart on Bitcoin. Yesterday, we printed a daily hammer, okay? Which typically means we will get a move to the upside, right? Hammers typically mean we get moved opposite reversals, right? So hammers usually go to the upside, inverted hammers move to the downside. If you guys like this content, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and we'll catch you guys in the next